So greetings from Carolee Studio. I just wanted to hop on and introduce um, just a, a kit that I'm putting together um, for a, a blue, what I call a blue themed journal created from some kits um, by Stamperia. I've enjoyed making these these journals that I've been putting up lately and one thing that I thought of though and I mentioned in my last video is putting together a kit of various ephemera and paper so someone could buy it and then create their own journal. I know that I've always enjoyed working with um, ephemera and paper and creating my own style um, but sometimes when I open up a journal, I think, oh, I bet you if somebody had the opportunity to do it themselves, they might put it together differently, or they would have some extra material that they could use to maybe even create more than just one journal. And so that's what I did here. I put together some stuff that was um, used in creating some of the journals that I've been working on lately. And I thought I would put together a kit for someone who might be able to say, hey, oh, I'd love to be able to do it myself. Love to be able to, um, one of the things I like to do sometimes is to put together a journal, complete it totally, and then sew in the signatures. And that's a good opportunity. You're able to create more on the papers because it lays flatter the more you add to a journal the thicker it gets and the harder it is sometimes to even create in it so that's another way you can do this but uh, let me quickly show you what i have here that will come in the kit this will be a this is a cover put on canvas it has the feel of leather but it's canvas that's been decoupaged with an image by Stamperia. And so you can see there that it has been gessoed, I mean, um, decoupaged over and finished on top so you can really create something, I think, beautiful with this. And inside is fabric and it's been kind of decoratively stitched together. And then I'm going to include some papers. But again, this, this paper is, um, you know, made for this, but then you can put in whatever paper you may like to put in. Maybe make it more junk journaly. I tend to be on the more neater side with junk journaling. Um, some people like it a little bit more scrappy. But um, so this is this will give you a really good start. There's some scrapbook paper. There's some tea dyed paper. There's some homemade paper that I've created. Some mulberry paper from Japan. Some printables from other shops that I print on tea, tea dyed paper. This is a just a, um, a book page from an old um, flower book. Another scrap paper. I like the idea of the blues and browns. It's kind of my theme for this. Some avocado dyed homemade paper. And more tea dyed. Another page from an old book. I thought the colors went well together some cabbage dyed paper, a um, kind of a insert, pocket insert here in the middle, which I kind of, I like that idea of being able to um, put that in the center there. And so that is a look at some of the papers that are included. I think there's like, I'm not in counting, not counting the not counting these, I think there's like 15, or maybe, let's see, so one, two, three, four, five, six, 
if you count that, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 sheets. And again, like I said, you can add, this gives you room to, really, you can probably, I, you know, I would say create two, this could fit two signatures easily in there. Um, this is just one off the top there, but, so that would be the paper to start off with. And then I have a lot of ephemera that I included in this. I included some labels, so you can... I've got tags, but you can create, these are some handmade labels, some are cut out labels from other shops, uh, some are stamped labels, like I said, that I created with different inks to, to kind of go with the theme of blues and browns. So there's some labels. Um, there is one of the Stamperia kits, I think was Winter Tales, and so some of these are figures or things that are included in the Winter Tales kit that I've included here with this one. But I really think there's enough ephemera to go ahead and do at least two signatures and add at least another 15 pages or so to it or create another journal um, if you'd like to. Some more things that I've sewn on and I've backed some of them with tea dyed paper and so you can use them to slip in or for decorative purposes. Um, here's another large image from the Stamperia kit Winter Tales. Some muslin that has been stamped on. Little birds added to this. So just some pieces of muslin that you can use to, again, decorate your tag. Some of the tags are plain. Some are a little decorated. Like, say, for these, it includes lots of different tags in this kit. And these are sewn. And these is kind of a patchwork kind of sewing, patchwork uh, created tags from some paper from various shops and from the Stamperia kit. Um, so they are backed by tea, day, tea, tea dyed paper. Most of them are. And so these are some of the tags that you can use to put in your journal. And again, some of them are decorative, some are not. And kind of a variety and some journaling space there different types of blue again blue and browns my theme here this was one that was from the kit an image I thought that was so pretty and so some large and small all various sizes this is some graph paper and this is a kind of a die cut but you can go ahead and put a piece of paper on the back of this and add, add a pocket back here if you'd like. And so, so that is some of the tags. These are some of the larger and there are a few smaller ones here also. That I added some labels to, but again it shows you sort of how you can put labels on and write what you'd like to write on it. I, you know, it's um, something that you can go ahead. But this gives you a huge starting point that you can create, write. Um, simp you know, there's just a lot of different things you can do. This is another kind of a pocket that you can glue around here onto your page, slip something in, and then you've got a journal space here. You've got another pocket here. You can create more pockets here. Pockets are a great place to put your pictures. There's another pocket you can put on your page, and another pocket, and another pocket there. And there's some postcards. There's like an envelope that you can glue here and make into a pocket. Postcards that you can make into a pocket or add journaling. 
an envelope that you can, a coin envelope that you can decorate yourself. Let's see. I'm trying to see what I did here. Did I mess that one up? <laughs> I think I may have. I think I may have messed that coin thing up. So I'll just have to look at it and put another one in there because I think somehow it kind of got glued, glued oddly. So I will I'll replace that. Um, always good to look at it. Some more side pockets. I'm not sure I showed if I showed those or not. Just some side pockets. You're gonna you know glue on the back of these and stick them down. And there are some fabric labels or just some embellishments again going with that brown and blue theme so I've made some fabric you can use them as labels stamp a word on there or just again just decor decoration on your tags add a label on top if you'd like with any of those labels just some various things that you can do with that so so this kit is almost you know pretty put together there's another one that's even going to be less put together maybe a little less price um but just as a starting point but this is you know other than sewing it together you know placing tags where you'd like them labels and this is like a fabric flip that comes with the kit fabric flip there um, in my other journal I did just um, I took some lace and glued around the, the glued the backs and made a pocket on to put on the inside of the journal so you can do that too I've got two of them if you'd like um, but there is some lace to go with that if you'd like to do that. So that fabric, fabric flip, and just some odds and end things like some um, some muslin to use as decorative pieces. I'm going to add some of these clips. So you can either clip some tags to pages or you can, um, you know, use them to clip different things into your, into your book. Um, and the other thing was some sari silk. I'm going to include some sari silk. One second, let me get that. I, sorry about that. I thought I had everything with here. I've got some string that you can use to put on some of the the um, the tags, and I've got some three of these tabs here that you can put on some of the pages or some of the bigger some of the bigger some of the bigger tags there and some sorry silk that you can use to decorate putting a hole in you could put a hole in these if you'd like and add some ribbon to any of these so yeah so that is what is going to be included in the kit and I did have and I'm trying to find out where I put it I dyed some here it is. I dyed some material here to kind of a ribbon material to go with to wrap around your I thought it went beautifully with. So I'll give you a good long piece to wrap around your um, 
journal to keep it closed once you start putting things in it and or or after you put things in it just kind of a decorative thing to wrap it around and tuck it under um, as sort of an addition but you can do whatever you'd like you can even make and you know make an enclosure yourself if you'd like by punching holes but again I was going to leave that to the person who actually had the journal just to kind of see what it is that you know they would like to do with it so yes so that will be included in the kit so it'll come nicely boxed in a box like that and so yes that is going to be my blue and brown themed junk journal kit that I'll be putting up in my shop either today or tomorrow hope y'all enjoyed it I hope uh, you like this kind of a kit let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see different see more kinds of these kits I really love creating ephemera and covers and things like that and I, I though I love creating the books too, the journals I like to just see if people are interested in doing more of their own creating and so giving them a really big boost with all kinds of ideas and ephemera and uh, yeah so good luck and I hope uh, to um, hear how someone likes this and see how they put it together. Y'all have a good day.